How I Killed Pluto and Why It Had It Coming by Mike Brown. Uh, this is a hardback book. Here's the dust jacket just by. Mike Brown is the one uh, whose team found really that there were lots of other uh, celestial objects roaming around uh, around uh, the same distance or sometimes not as far as Pluto. I'm trying to, let's just see if this is, has any, I don't remember a lot of pictures, but. And, um, and therefore really put an end to the idea that Pluto was, was special in some way. Um, I, don't, I don't remember the original color of the paper. It does seem to be yellowing a little bit, doesn't it? Let's see, it came out in 2010, hasn't been that long. Um, here's the binding, seems to be glued in. Um, yeah, so he, he, uh, he and his team, as I say, they, they found lots and lots and lots of Pluto-sized objects, maybe even bigger than Pluto. And so uh, the scientific community had to decide what to do about that. Well, you know, we know what they did about it. He wasn't actually in the decision-making process. It was kind of interesting. I guess there's a large group of people that get together and decide some of these things, and that did not include him, but it was his research that really put the nail in the coffin of keeping Pluto as a planet. They had to decide either we're going to have a lot, a lot, a lot of planets <clears throat> because they keep discovering new, new, as I say, objects the same size as Pluto or even a little bit bigger. They have to all be planets or they have to none of them be planets. And so they ended up making none of them planets. It's just a name. But this is actually really interesting. I, I have a passing interest in astronomy. And um, he, of course, is an astronomer. And he talks something about his own work and something about the work of, of all astronomers. And it's, it's, it's very interesting how they, how they check for differences and sort of how they chase down these kinds of things. It's not as interesting. I mean, sorry, it's not as easy as just pointing a telescope at the sky and going, oh, oh, that's new. I mean, sometimes it is that easy, but uh, often there's a lot more into it than that, of course. In any case, I really like the book. I found it pretty, pretty good reading. He has a charming voice, and um, yeah, I would read more that he puts out. If he maybe he already has, I'll have to have a look. How I Killed Pluto and Why It Had It Coming by Mike Brown.